So the Cambridge Studies in Romanticism series is really a sort of enormous collection of um, important scholarship on the Romantic period starting around the 1780s into the 1830s, uh, addressing a whole range of topics in both sort of canonical literature and culture and more popular and new, new forms of um, sort of literary writing and non-literary writing. Um, my own contribution to the series uh, was about the simultaneous commercialization and feminization of literary culture and the way that changed conceptions of authorship and how authors understood what they understood themselves to be doing um, during this time period. So many things set the series apart. I would say one major thing is its longevity, that it really is a way for us to look at what the field is and where the field is going. Um, that it's really had a remarkable life and it continues to be very lively, publishing new work, new voices in the field, as well as established important scholars in the field. Uh, it, one thing that also sets it apart is its editor, Linda Bree, uh, and its early editor, Josie Dixon, as well. Um, both are scholars themselves, so Linda is able to bring a perspective from within the field to her conversations with authors and her understanding of what they're doing and also have her expert eye um, in terms of understanding what readers need from a work of scholarship. I have really been grateful to be a part of the series because I feel like it's not just a set of books, but it's a set of conversations among people in the field. So I feel like I'm part of a community by virtue of being in, the, in, in this series. Uh, and I hope to be in it again. Uh, there have been many books in this series that I think have really given me a new way to look at the field, uh, venturing into literatures or kinds of discourses that uh, felt very exciting and new to me, including from early on, I think one of the earliest books in the series addressed questions of empire and colonialism and race, uh, which were not really issues that had been talked about much in the field you know, in earlier, earlier years or decades. So it, uh, we get studies about the visual arts, we get studies about political culture, economics. Uh, I think the interdisciplinary nature of the text in this series really opens, opens things up. Of course, romanticists think everything happens in this period. And in fact, in some ways, it, I think it's really true that this is the period where literature itself becomes literature with a capital L, where it's removed from the sort of elite um, scholastic tradition that it's been in and becomes a more popular thing. It's institutionalized as literature. So a lot of different things follow from that. And I think that is one of the things that makes romanticism so important.